Okay guys, so it's come to a little bit of a milestone um, in my dungeoneering sort of, I guess, getting it to 75. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy myself a Bone Crusher. Um, reason for this, um, and reason for not saving up for a chaotic weapon, is because I think that the Bone Crusher is going to be my main prayer training method, obviously apart from Seren Crystals um, in Elk City. Um, so I believe that this is possibly the best way to go, especially for the early Slayer levels. A lot of things drop bones, and even Dragon Bones aren't really that useful to me, um, because obviously I can't sell them, so I might as well go for this method of um, training my prayer and then when I do one of a kind I will also be able to use that in turn with the uh, dragon rider necklace for the double like frost dragon prayer bonus um, like so that would be a really nice way of getting myself that uh, extra prayer experience I can um, so oh I was gonna try and do a sinkhole um, but apparently you can't do those in Iron Man mode so that kind of sucks because um, I was hoping that I could just get some experience from that game itself um, but yeah it seems like I can't do that so it's got to have to be some more solo dungeoning so I will be back once I get either I think I'm quite close to the 65 oh, well when I say I'm quite close to 65 and 33k off which isn't too bad um, so I'm just going to continue with uh, Dungeoneering and until I get 75. Alright guys, so I just got 70 Fletching, which is a requirement for Branches of Dietmare, so that's one more ticked off. And uh, it's also a requirement for Within the Light, which might be a helpful quest later on in the game. Alright guys, so I just did my Tears of Guffix for the week, and I managed to get 5 summoning levels, which I thought was pretty big. Um, I didn't actually, or wasn't actually recording at the time, because... Um, I didn't realize I was gonna get that many uh, levels but yeah that's really nice it also gets us a combat level and makes us level 86 now which is really really good and um, so yeah I'm just gonna run through the rest of my like sort of weekly activities and then it's back to dungeoneering uh, okay guys so just doing my circus and I managed to get myself uh, level 50 agility which is a really nice milestone I'm just gonna continue to <clears throat> obviously do the activity here and see if I can get any more good experience from this. Alright guys, so I just finished uh, or got, sorry, a magic level and the magic level was level 70 and that is a requirement for Branches of Darkmare and also I have a level 70 Dungeoneering Staff waiting uh, that is bound so that'll be good uh, for me and for the speeding up of these dungeons. I'm currently 68, uh, got 27k to go till 69 so I'm hoping to get the uh, 75 or close to 75 by tonight okay guys so i just got 70 dungeoneering uh is of course uh, a milestone of some description um definitely uh, sort of getting through the levels now now that we're 70 that should be a much much easier to get obviously uh the rest of the levels now um and i think I, as soon as i get 71 i should be able to go to an occult floor as well which is really really good okay guys so about to get a pretty big uh milestone <clears throat> if you guys have x-ray vision you should be able to see um my flashing level of dungeoneering and i am now about to get the milestone level for prifidinus so this is absolutely awesome and uh, i'm so glad to have gotten this skill finally done because um it was killing me from the insides i will admit that uh, but it was definitely nice to have got it done and uh, obviously push that out of the way because now there's only crafting i believe construction um skills which i don't have to go straight after i think dungeoneering is definitely one of those skills where you have to concentrate continuously on that skill until you um you get your um milestone of whatever that might be um so yeah i'm just going to check out my tokens got 76k which is really good um i will be using those tokens um and i possibly will be going for the charming imp before um i go for anything else um but from the moment i am just going to leave it at 75 it's good at 75 i have a bone crusher i have a twisted bird skull necklace which will also give me some prayer back and um, yeah I can make the most of Slayer a little bit now um, so my main objective now is to go ahead and probably get the um, requirements for Branches of Darkmare get that done and then I'll come back 
once I've got level 70 stats um, and then we'll finish off that last push just to get ourselves that charming imp which I think will be a really good idea okay guys so just doing a farm run and I did manage to get a level didn't realize that I was actually um, getting that level in particular and it is 55 farming and I believe we have to get 60 ish for branches of dark May. so um, I can now plant the cactuses which I might go ahead and do uh, it would be pretty useful to have some of the cactus spines for when I do yew trees because um, I could just put protect a few trees here and there the cactus spines themselves aren't that useful um, for any other thing so I'll probably go and plant those now okay a bit annoyed with myself in terms of this clip in particular I recorded about a minute and a half so I must have had something important to say but I did manage to get 50 strength so there that level is and we will continue to do some melee training later on okay guys so I'm about to get myself a level up and I thought I'd show you guys because it is a momentous ish occasion um 55 herbal so we can now make super strengths which is pretty damn good i do have a lot of limb work roots and i do have a fair few qualms as well so that might be a initial thing that we can go for i definitely want to get myself the scroll of efficiency from dungeon and i think that's something i'm actually going to go ahead and do now um and then i might use up all of my herbal supplies and see where it gets me Okay, so I just got myself the scroll of life and the one that does the herbal ability, which is the wasteless herbal ability, I think. Can't remember the exact name of those, but I did unlock the both of those. Um, I was thinking about doing the one for construction. That's going to be very handy because my um, idea to do that is to do like oak tables or something like that um, to 75. Because um, I have enough oak logs, but I just don't have the cash at the moment to do that. But I need 60 construction before I can even buy that item. But it might be worth it still to buy it at level 60 construction, if I remember. Um, and then I was looking at the crafting ones, but the crafting ones don't look too good. Because uh, it says if you're crafting an item with three or more of the same item, then you get a chance to save an ingredient. But at that point in time, I don't think I'll be ever really creating dehyde bodies until hot, really high levels maybe when i do like queen black dragon and stuff like that so that's something that i'm going to just save my points on for the moment um and then we'll go from there but i'll see you guys in a bit um once i have uh done a bit more farming and some other bits and bobs okay guys so i just finished up with my daily challenges and it was to start um 13 strong mining urns so i had to make the urns and then i had to obviously mine um, the to make the urns work um, it's 57 mining I did get 55 then 56 and now 57 which isn't too bad at all can't complain with those levels um, I'm now going to continue to probably just go back and fish for now uh, until I'm done with a slayer episode so I'll be back in a bit alrighty guys so I just completed uh, rum deal and I've got 7,000 prayer experience 7,000 fishing and 7,000 farming so that is actually really really good and we do get prayer to 49 from that and um, of course that farming experience experience will be really really handy and I also did not get a chance to record this as I was playing um, around my girlfriend so I was just having a little farm run and I managed to get 60 farming which is awesome so three more levels to go on that one I believe and we can do branches of nightmare so not long to go um, I think I can plant some more fruit trees now so I'm gonna go do that before I start um, to do the next quest okay guys so just completed cabin fever and this allows me to kill cave horrors and we've got 7000 smithing crafting and agility experience and that is good because we get 52 agility and that now means that we can go with a demonic skull to the wilderness agility um, which is awesome so yeah really really good and um, I think I'm gonna start killing some cave horrors now I'm probably gonna kill those until I get 90 combat and then I'm gonna chase after getting myself smoking kills done so that I can use uh, Simona as a Slayer Master and then that will um, sort of save some of the crappier tasks from being done so I'll be back in a bit okay guys so I just finished up a fletching daily challenge that I've had for a while now it was use shield bows but I haven't been able to go to temple trekking just for a few reasons but wanting to be able to do Slayer on my account and not uh, just play on this account so um, on my main account and I did manage to get 75 fletching from that one so it's not too bad and I get 155 uh, magic logs. I'm not sure exactly when I can use magic logs. Um, because it would be... Oh, but I suppose it might be pretty cool if we made some magic shield bows. I'm an elf them, but I don't know exactly when I can do that. I don't even think... I think it's like level 80 or something, isn't it? New shield bows... I don't know. Uh, eight, five, nine, nine, nine. Okay, we'll save up all our magic logs and maybe they'll come in handy at some point. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to go and do um, some quests now, um, or we're going to do some combat actually. 
Um, so I will be back shortly. Awesome. So I just got my first black mask. Um, I think I'm going to leave now. Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I essentially want to get um, one more combat level, but I think it's going to take forever here. Um, I am getting some good herb seeds, so maybe it's worth me staying just for a little bit longer. Um, just get some more herb seeds. Get a, like, at least a really, like... I'd say at least a month's supply worth of herb runs out of these guys. Um, and then if I get 73 magic and possibly a constitution level, we might be there. Um, I would like to get 75 magic because that would mean that my final tier of rune Saman staff or the runic staff can come along, which would be good. Uh, so yeah, let's just go for that. I'm just going to keep going and hopefully get a, a, maybe a bank spacer, a black mass or something like that and, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, just got that 90 combat. So I'm probably going to stay here, just finish up this task and then I am going to go and complete the smoking kills uh, series. I think I've already done Gertrude's cat, so it's not too bad. Just need to do Ikarin's little helper and then actually smoking kills itself. Um, so that'll be good. That'll give us um, a fair bit more or better tasks um, in essentially uh, so yeah that'll be good and it will also double our slayer points as well which is good we need to start buying a couple things here and there especially for the invention grind uh, when I do go for max cape on this account so let's do that and I'll be back in a sec okay guys so I just finished up my death assignment managed to go and get myself 60 slayer so I can now kill aberrant spectres which is awesome because I actually do need swamp tar for uh, the ammo for the salamanders so I'm gonna go ahead and um, now do uh, Ikarin's little helper and the smoking kills quest uh, see how far I get and then we're gonna start doing some slayer tasks with Simona and hopefully she'll give us some good tasks we can make some good money and then we can get on our way to getting 67 slayer for the branches of darkmare quest uh, okay guys so I have a little bit of tears of graphics coming up I didn't realize that was on the green tears a little bit there um, not a great score, 54 from it, um, but I'm sure it still give me a level or some description. Managed to get two summoning levels, which is pretty damn good. Um, now, uh, summoning is not my lowest skill, it is now ranged, but by the time I do Tears of Gothics next week, around about this time, currently the day being Monday, um, I'm hoping to have got a higher range level as I will be focusing on combat for the next sort of episode or two. Um, just to get some levels here and there, I do want to start using my Greater Runic, runic Staff, that would be really amazing. So two more levels in Magic. Well, one and a half actually, I'm on 46 chaos um, and on 73 there. Um, and then range is, is, is yeah, quite low, uh, but so are the rest of my skills anyway. So yep, yeah, um, well, let's go ahead and do penguins and I'll be back once I've done those. Okay guys, so I did my penguins and I had some points saved up from last week. So I managed to use them all on herb law and I got 58 herb law. Uh, can't wait for next month because I do get jack of trades, which will be awesome. And this will be the end of the episode now, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. And happy runescaping as always.